Hi, my name is Hannah, and in today's video, I'm going to be trying to make three different outfits to go see the Barbie movie in five days, so let's see if I can do it. For all three of these dresses, I am going to be using pre-made patterns that I'll have linked down below. I see a lot of other like people who sew here on YouTube, they don't like use patterns. They just make it up as they go. I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm a beginner. This is all stuff I'm learning as I go through. I cannot make my own patterns yet. I don't know if I'll ever be able to. Who the heck knows? But that's all. Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start in my dress. Let's go. To begin, I start by cutting out all of my pattern pieces. I got this pattern from an online shop on Etsy. They are called Alpha Patterns. I've made this dress before and I love the pattern. I think it's really cute and it's very flattering. So, today is grind day. I feel like I got like nothing done in day one. I did, obviously, like I got the fiber cut out, but I didn't sew anything, so I feel like a failure, but I'm not a failure. My goals for today are completely finish my dress, which I think is very doable. I can do it in like the next two hours, I think. And then I want to cut out all of the patterns. I do have a sort of dilemma before I start my dress. I wanna add a lining for the top part, that way I can like, wear undergarments and not have them show through if you know what I mean and so this is like pretty see-through and so what I can do is I do this and then I already have a lining piece cut out of just regular fabric my issue here is is this is not stretchy at all and so I might have to put a zipper into the dress which I hate doing zippers it would be much much easier to sew I think adding this in the back but like I said, not stretchy at all. So my other option is to cut out another piece of fabric like this and then just use this as the backing also. My issue there is it's probably going to be more difficult to sew because this is a stretchy fabric. So I'm just sewing two pieces of stretchy fabric together and that just might be more of a pain in the butt, but it might just be more comfortable. I think I am gonna cut out the fabric like this and just see what sewing it is like. Um, I don't love sewing super stretchy material. I don't think most people do, but I think I can do it. I just have to like believe in myself, you know? <laughs> I'm trying to cut um, another piece of the front and back, but my helper here is not really being a helper. Say hi. <laughs> She'll come right back, watch. <laughs> No, this is not for you. You have toys. <laughs> Boom. Back piece done. I always just cut out where the triangle is and then I just mark it onto my fabric with this blue marker. And boom, now I know where the darts are. And then I can fold it like that. If I only have the dots on there, it's not going to happen. It's not going to come out how it's supposed to be. Now it is time to pin my least favorite part of sewing. I hate pinning. Let's get to it. <laughs> it's never done that before. Oh my gosh. Before I move on to sewing the actual piece, I always want to do a test stitch just to make sure I have all of the settings correct and that it will come out nicely on my actual fabric. As you can see here, the tension is off. The tension is too loose and that's why the top thread is pulling through to the bottom side. So this time I'm going to go and I'm going to make sure I hold on to that top tail of thread up top and that should do the trick. As you can see, everything comes out beautifully. This is why it's really important to do a test stitch before you move on to your actual fabric. Now that I have the settings correct though, I'm going to go through and do the darts really quickly. you could tell in those mini time-lapse videos but uh, the darts were looking a little rough it was really kind of hard to sew them but they look fine like from the front you know I could just end here I could just have half a top it's time to bust out the iron I actually don't hate ironing I know a lot of sewists sewers seamstresses whatever you want to call them don't love 
ironing. I don't hate it. It's it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. Sorry, you got up close and personal with Mount Vesuvius on my head here. I don't know what's happening to me. It appeared literally a week ago and it's been, it's just gotten worse. I'm here to tell you the ugly truth, guys. You have to press your seams. You have to. Don't, don't not do it. Make sure you press them. I know you don't want to. I know you don't, but you gotta press them. Okay, like so. It takes five seconds. Okay, just do it. It's time, folks, to actually sew. Like, okay, we've sewed a couple times, but like really, really sew, we're really getting into it. We're gonna go from here, uh, the way to here. Go straight across like that. Boom, beautiful, amazing, let's freaking do it. Look how beautiful this stitching is. It came out so wonderful. Wow, look at that. So now I'm gonna understitch. I'll show you how I do that. How you do an understitch? You have your sewed piece. You're gonna flip it like this, just so you have like a nice visual. We have our seam here. What you're gonna do is you're going to sew your seam to the lining side. So not, do not sew it to like the part that's gonna be facing outwards. Sew it to the lining side. This will help create like a really nice line over the top, make it look nice and all put together. I mean, it already will, but it helps it extra. You wanna have your good sides facing up as you go through. So this is, you know, honestly, I probably should have pressed my seam here, but I'm not doing it. I'm not taking my own advice. Anyways, so you're gonna put it through. You want to sew your line as close to the seam line as possible. I'm like super duper nervous, so it's okay though. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh. Why? Got the cameras. Got the cameras. I can't do anything right. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> outcome of understitching so this is the back side this is the lining side boom so beautiful and this is the front so it just naturally hides the hem back here <laughs> is all sewed together the thing is is i think that this is going to be too big for me actually i don't know because when i hold it up like this it looks normal my issue is, is i don't have the largest chest and so i'm kind of scared it's not going to fit great but also i do want like a little extra room so i'm going to try it on and we'll see if this this, this works okay so i tried it on way too big like extremely too big it needs like a whole six inches taken off um i can't take it from the sides because that's obviously like where the armholes are like that so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna basically put where like i have darts in the back i'm gonna put it together and then just sew it down in the middle i'm glad i caught it now and i'm really glad that i tried it on before i made the whole dress because i actually made the same exact mistake with this same pattern before and i had to just take it in at the sides and it looked a little wonky so i'm glad i tried this on before i kept going more of the story try things on before you finish sewing them Here's what it looks like from the back, all sewed together. And great news, it fits literally perfectly. So crisis averted, folks. Moving on, it is time to do uh, the skirt. It's gonna be much easier than doing all this was. This is just a lazy life hack, but I'm going through and pressing down the bottom hem of the skirt. That way I don't have to pin it. As you can see, I didn't pin it here and it worked out perfectly fine. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna gather this and then I'm gonna sew it to the top of this. I have not actually gathered a skirt before. I've just chosen to do pleats because I am scared of trying to gather. But I feel like gathering is gonna be what looks best and it's gonna give that nice like pretty poofy princess kind of feel. So I have to do it. I have to go ahead and just do it. So I just found this little uh, YouTube short tutorial. It said to put the stitch length the highest it can go and also put the tension as high as it can go because it's gonna create like a really nice loose thread that makes it easier to pull through. So I'm gonna give that a try and we'll see. I'm gonna just start the gathering stitch like somewhere out here. I don't think it really matters where you start it. Oh, it's getting so crazy right now. 
kind of gathering itself though. Great news, the gathering went excellently. I still actually have to like pull the gather through, but this is what it looks like so far. I have to, I think, gather in another like two or so inches in order to fill the top. Here I am just very simply pinning the top of the dress to the bottom of the skirt so that I can move forward and sew it all together. Super news, I have it all pinned together and now it's time to sew the top to the bottom and then after this it's just sleeves. about the gathering but it actually turned out pretty well it's a little slightly less gathered here than here but it overall turned out the top is still a little too big for me but I think once I add the sleeves the largeness will be fine I want it to be a loser fit anyways just so like if it like in the future I gain weight or something you know it can fit more comfortably it's also a stretchy fabric so I'm not too worried it's like kind of perfect the fabric is like very breathable and comfortable and any mistakes that I've made, you can't really tell that bad. Don't you love it? Um, my phone died when I was making the sleeves, so I made the sleeves. They look great. Um, I could fit like a puppy in here. For someone else, this would be good. I'm just gonna fold it in, probably take it in like a whole two inches on both sides so it's like a straight line up. And then because the sleeves are sitting like really awkwardly far in, I might take the sleeve down and, and sew it in like that. The top fits so much better. I can't put a dog in here anymore. It actually like fits. Friends, it's day three of making Barbie dresses and I am definitely not as far along as I would have hoped to be. I only got one of the two things that I was aiming to get done yesterday actually done. I did make an entire dress yesterday so that is a really big accomplishment you know that's pretty great but now I'm kind of stressed because we have an official day when we're seeing the Barbie movie today is Friday July 21st and we are seeing the Barbie movie this upcoming Tuesday so I have four days to make and finish two dresses can I do it Hopefully. Whenever I use commercial patterns, I always trace the pattern onto some craft paper. That way in the future, if I ever wanna reuse the pattern, I can always go back to it and use the bigger or smaller sizes. I just make sure I transfer over all of the marks, that way it is as accurate as possible. Here, I'm just cutting out the pieces that I had transferred over to this craft paper. I would say this process probably takes me about an hour or two, depending on how fast I work and how distracted I get. take a lunch break but then that lunch break lasted three and a half hours I have gotten almost nothing done today all I've done is cut out the pattern pieces for one of the outfits to be fair I couldn't do the other one because I ran out of tracing paper so I need to get more I think I can still finish one of the outfits today because it is super simple the top is literally just two pieces of fabric and the skirt I don't think will be that difficult either <laughs> Today is day four and I did almost nothing yesterday, like nothing. I kept getting distracted and then I ran out of craft paper to trace the patterns and then for some reason my brain just couldn't move past it. Technically I could have cut out the fabric for one of the outfits because I already had that all the way traced out but my brain was like no you have to trace before you move on. So I didn't get anything done <laughs> but I did go to the dollar store last night and get more tracing paper so I can do that today. Um, excuse me ma'am? I'm gonna need that. Two hours later and I finally have all of the fabric cut out for this outfit. We're gonna sew this dang outfit and then we're gonna be done with outfit number two, hopefully. Hopefully. Here's the thing, it's day five and all I accomplished yesterday was cutting fabric and cutting my hair. Today, I need to accomplish the second outfit, the two-piece set, because tomorrow is my last day to work on things and then we see the Barbie movie the next day. So I have to uh, work really fast, so enjoy some crazy sewing montages. It's the final day and I have 
have so much, so much to do before we see the Barbie movie tomorrow. Currently it is noon and we see the Barbie movie tomorrow at 1.10. I have 25 hours to get two outfits done. I'm about one third of the way done with my two piece outfit, but I still have a whole dress to make after that. I did get this giant cutting board back here, which will make cutting the like fabric and the pattern leagues easier. I got barely nothing done yesterday, except for, well, I sewed first part of the top. Like I still have to sew the lining. I did do the zipper, which I'm actually super proud of myself. Like, look how good that looks. It's so close to the zipper. It's almost a straight line. I tried this on and I think this should fit my best friend's little sister, Lindsay. So we'll see. It actually goes this way. Isn't this like the best color ever? The things I have to do today, I have to sew the lining, put it on the top, have to sew the skirt for the two piece, and then I have to cut out the pattern for the dress and then cut out the fabric and then sew the dress. Big list of to-dos, but I think I can do it. <sighs> I'm at kind of a standstill right now with this top because I keep re-sewing it and I literally cannot get it to turn inside out. I'm following the directions. So look, I pull it all the way through. And it just goes back to inside out. I can't, I literally cannot figure it out and it's really, really frustrating me. Like I can get it to this point, but then the shoulder isn't out. Like I can't get the shoulder to stick out. Like it's stuck in there and in order to pull it out, it pulls the whole thing back. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if I should like undo this center seam at the top of the shoulder and then sew everything and then turn it. Okay, I'm alive. <laughs> I figured it out. I did need to, I don't think it says this in the instructions. Actually the instructions do say to like sew this together, but taking it apart made me be able to turn the whole thing inside out. And so I'm gonna turn it back or right side out, I guess, but I'm gonna turn it back inside out and sew along here and along here, and then we'll be almost done with this. Really, thank God I've wasted so much time. The top is done. This took entirely too long, like way too long. I like it overall. The darts kind of don't match up. I think overall it's cute. It's gonna be cute for the Barbie movie. I could not find a hot pink, uh, like openable zipper for the life of me. Now I still have to do the skirt. Hopefully the skirt is much easier. Sorry if you can hear rain, it's, um, you know, raining, but I'm just gonna scrap the skirt for this two piece outfit. I feel really bad because all she's getting is a um, somewhat okay one shoulder top, but I just can't like, I can't figure this skirt out. I don't know. I think what I did I sewed or I cut two of the wrong pieces for the like lining and then it's just thrown everything off. I got too lazy. I didn't want to do a zipper for it. And so I like tried to do shortcuts and that I'm telling you literally did not work. I tried to do like a elastic waistband. Not a good idea. I should have just stuck with the zipper. But like by the time I sewed everything together, it was just game over. Like I couldn't undo it basically. Like I would. Yeah. Um, so I'm really frustrated. I feel really bad because I wanted her to have like a really cute, <laughs> fun two piece, but it's just that the slit is like extremely high. Like it's like right by the crotch. This, the lining is showing. Everything's bad. Everything is awful about the skirt. Super bad up close, obviously. Um, there's like no redeeming qualities about it. So I'm just going to scrap this. This is a big L for me and it is eight o'clock and I still have a whole nother dress to cut the pattern out and cut the fabric and then sew it all together. So yay me. After cutting out the pattern, I'm already feeling so much more optimistic about this dress. I think it's going to be a lot easier. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, I need to cut out the fabric, which is why these are out. Let's go. I'm probably not gonna really film very much because I need to go. It is 9.30 and I still have this whole dress to make and I want to get it done tonight so that I can actually like sleep and then get ready for the movie tomorrow. Update, it is 
3.30 a.m. and things are going so much better. <laughs> I'm almost done with this dress and I'm actually obsessed with it. The fabric is just so magical and the fit is so beautiful and I'm literally obsessed. I want to make one for myself. This is going so much better than the freaking two-piece that went. All I have to do now is sew up the sides, like put the zipper on, do the side, and then do the bottom seam, and then we're done. I'm trying to decide if I wanna to go to bed and then wake up tomorrow at like nine, and then finish um, the rest of this. Like after I put, I'm gonna definitely do the zipper tonight. It's Barbie day, I'm so excited. All I have left to do is sew the bottom of my best friend's dress, and then I'm done. I decided I still am going to make a skirt um, for her little sister, I'm just gonna retry it, but it's just not going to be ready in time for the movie, and that's gonna have to be okay, and I feel really bad, but she'll still get a fun pink silky skirt by the end of everything. Everything's all finished, and I'm so excited. It is currently 12.10, I have about 25 minutes to get ready before I need to head over to my friend's house. So I'm going to curl my hair and put on a little bit of makeup and then head out. I'm just so excited to see their reactions. <laughs> end of this video thank you so 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 much for sticking through that wild ride it got a little crazy i got very stressed but hey it got done for the most part i will remake the skirt for my best friend's little sister don't want her to like not have a fun outfit you know i promised her i'd make her something so i will get it done at some point the barbie movie was amazing it was really funny i would say it was probably like an 8 8.5 out of 10 it was very entertaining i did get lost at a few parts but overall very funny beautiful aesthetics the soundtrack was amazing i had a great time thank you so much for watching all the way through please hit the subscribe button if you want to support me making more beautiful dresses in the future and if you like the video please give it a like and i will see you in the next one